the day I am talking on kidneys for the A to Z series for sickle cell. So when you have sickle cell, like anywhere else in the body, sickle cells can get trapped in the blood vessels of the kidney. And this can be quite detrimental if it happens frequently or cuts off oxygen to the kidneys because what that means is that the kidneys could be prone to kidney damage or chronic kidney disease. Kidneys are tasked with filtering out waste from the blood in the body and also the kidneys produce urine too. So when the kidneys are clotted with blood in the blood vessels or the kidneys are damaged from that then that could basically result in the kidneys being unable to filter out waste from blood and also it can result in excessive urination. The symptoms of dysfunctional kidneys do include bedwetting at night, high blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, fatigue as well. Blood in the urine is also another symptom of dysfunctional kidneys. This is why when you have hematology appointments, they will check your kidney function before your appointments just to ensure that your kidneys are working in the way that they should.